So within our iPhone camera application, there are two different video modes that you can basically take advantage of. This is the standard video mode, and it's also cinematic mode. Now, I wanna explain some of the differences between these two types of modes for the most part, and luckily for you, it's not anything super crazy, but there's a reason why I would probably recommend a majority of people to pretty much just stick with the standard video mode rather than going through and using the actual cinematic mode for a majority of things that you're going to be filming. Now, the first things first, not every iPhone supports cinematic mode, but pretty much every single iPhone in support right now supports video mode. So unless you have like the iPhone 3G or something, then it doesn't have it. But if you have every iPhone that's currently supported with software that I would recommend using, you are going to be getting some sort of video mode option within these devices. Now within video mode, you can always change your resolution. You can go up to 4K 60, no 8K capability yet, but you still have a lot of capability within video mode. Now within cinematic mode, this is a little bit of a different experience. The only iPhone supported on this are the iPhone 13s and above. So if you have an iPhone 13 or above, well then you can basically use cinematic mode and that's actually a very cool thing. The the way to think about with cinematic mode is that it is basically like portrait mode photo for video. So essentially, if you have a subject that you're taking a video of, let's say you're taking a video of some person talking, or you're taking a video of your pet, or you're taking a video of a phone sometimes that you may be making a video of, or whatever, you're taking a video of coffee, like a cup of coffee in your hand, things that you're recording that's a subject, that is where cinematic mode does an amazing job. Essentially what it does is that it blurs the background of that particular you know, subject in that photo. And then from there, you can go and record, and it's gonna be a very decent recording. It's gonna be very good. It's gonna blur the background, and it's going to kind of give you like this like bokeh DSLR type of effect on the type of product, which is actually very cool. I like it a lot. You can adjust the bokeh as well, and that's something that I love a lot about cinematic mode. Now with video mode, it's a little bit of a different story. In this specific setting, you don't necessarily have the option of blurring out the background at the highest level like you do with cinematic mode, but the way to kind of keep in mind with, you know, the standard video mode is that you're going to be getting a lot less glitching and a lot more stable video than cinematic mode. And what I mean by that is with cinematic mode, it's always going to try blurring out something. It's going to try blurring out the background or the sides of a video or something. With video mode, it's not really going to be doing that. It's just going to be sticking with the standard video. It's going to be recording. And that's something that I actually prefer a lot more times than the other video modes. On top of that, if you have some of the older iPhones, cinematic mode doesn't even support the ultra wide cameras. So you can zoom in one time or three times. There's no like actual zooming in capability beyond on, on some phones, not all of them, but on some phones, you can't even adjust the, you know, zooming in. You can only zoom in 1X or 3X on my 13 Pro. On other iPhones, you can obviously zoom in more. And even with my 13 Pro, I cannot use the ultra wide camera on cinematic mode. You know, I'm sure though things like that will change with newer iPhones as you kind of progress. But video mode seems to, at least in my opinion, seems to be the more featureful type of, you know, option beyond the two. So what I will tell you is, for a vast majority of things that you're going to be recording, I would recommend sticking with the standard video mode. Unless you're going through and, you know, actually using certain subjects that you're recording, where you're recording one specific thing and blurring out the background, then stick with cinematic mode. I'm sure if you know what you're doing, then it's cool. But video mode is the one I would recommend, like I said before, a vast majority of people for using, because that makes a lot more sense than using something like, you know, cinematic mode for every single thing you're doing. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, all then.